Okay, here we go. We'll jump right in. This is the effect that I'm trying to do. Uh, let me play it for you. That's what I want to do, is the flare to be attached to a highlight and follow the talent so it looks natural like it was done in production, not in post. Okay, I've been searching uh, everywhere on YouTube for um, a tutorial and they were very complicated. Here's how I did it and um, super easy. Right click on the clip that you want to um, attach your flare to it. You click on replace with After Effects composition. It will launch After Effects if it hasn't already been launched. It will ask you to cre either create a folder, save your project. I have created a PP2AE, which is Premiere Pro 2 After Effects uh, folder in my main project folder. I rename my flares independently. So if there is a major crash and I have to delete my preferences, as anyone familiar with Adobe, uh, it does happen. But that's another tutorial. Um, I'm, I just press the space bar and I am looking at the highlight on her necklace here. And this is where I'm going to want to be tracking. So there it is. Okay, I will stop this. Rewind to the beginning. This is where I'm going to want to track. I will go to my tracker and track motion. Grab my tracker and try to find a corner. I will enlarge this a little bit so we can, we're not losing the track, hopefully. And we will track forward from that point on. Uh, or it's called Analyze Forward. And click. Okay, we lost our point a little bit. Hopefully um, it'll be okay if it comes back. If it's in the same vicinity. Oh no, it's gone. It's gone, it's gone, it's gone, it's gone. Press Control Z. And then we will try to track from this corner and try that again okay I think we're good uh, yep here we go and now we need a flare to attach to Um, I do have optical flare with video copilot.net if you're interested. Uh, amazing plugin, very, very um, intuitive and easy to use interface. Here's my plugin, and I want this on the, over the original, not on black, obviously. And now I want to attach this to that. Now, the old ways and all the tutorials that I found, we had to come over here uh, in this area and create some solids and then a null object and attach and pick wick. And uh, that was all Chinese to me and scary as hell. So here's my way. Go back to your tracker. Now that we have a lens flare on our layer, we will go to the motion tracker. We'll just highlight it. Now this became uh, um, clickable on grade. Go edit target. It's already selected. After Effects, optical flare position, X and Y. Click OK. Click apply. And then OK again on the X and Ys. Boom. And we'll press the star, the uh, space bar. And there you have it. The flare follows her. Now. If you want, you're not happy with your flare, you can still make changes. It will not affect the tracking. Everything's done once. You can go to your options in um, 
whatever flare you are using. This is one of the preset that I've made for um, this video. So I'm keeping it uniform throughout. Whenever that girl comes back and sings and is in that same set, I've created the same the, the flare. So it looks like it's actually the same light throughout hitting her. I click OK and look, it, made, it took the changes. I'll press the space bar, make it play. And it just follows her. Isn't that fantastic? And now you can also reduce the intensity. I like it at around 80%, so it's not so blown out. You can scale it up. You can scale it down. Um, and that's that. I like it at 100%. I'm happy with it. And once you save it, and you go back to Premiere, see the clip now has changed color to like a pinkish red and it needs to be um, rendered and there you go I will yeah, yeah. I will play it back after it's rendered for you render in and out I will pause the video and come back and we are back we have rendered and this is how it looks I hope you like it and if you have any questions uh, write them below this is my first tutorial so give me a break uh, like it if you did I'll do some more uh, it's it really helped me help my uh, workflow and um, I hope it helps some of you thanks <laughs>